hi everyone so in this video we are going to demonstrate that how to configure OSPF or open shortest path first routing protocol on uh, routers so we are in packet tracer and I have done something before uh, even before starting the demonstration so just to save some time as simple as that here on this side of the router we have one subnet on this side another side we have another subnet and these two routers are connected using a third subnet so this is the basic configuration and with this configuration uh, we are going to start the OSPF configuration so and this is the uh, this should not be very much complicated I hope so so first of all let's see so what I have done I have just given IP to this PC that is 192.168.10.2 so this is in this submit and this submit you can see 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 .10 and this submit you can see 172.6.0 so all the IP addresses on those particular interfaces are mentioned you can see there and you can configure it by yourself as well and now let's see if there is some routing protocol already configured then I have just to, just to see, see here just to see uh, IP uh, protocols so this is the command you can see if there is any routing protocol configured then you can use this command show IP protocol so you can see there is no routing protocol at the moment in this router and in this router if you want to see then we can use the same just I was I was checking the show show IP uh, protocol so no IP protocols and uh, we can also verify that uh, we should be able to uh, ping from this PC to this interface because they are in the same uh, subnet so 192.168.10.2 192.168.10.1 so from this PC let us uh, ping that interface so ping 192.168.10.1 so this is the interface this interface and you can see we got reply and uh, 4 send 4 receive this work and that's great it means we can ping up to this point but we should not be able to ping from this PC to this PC because in this is this is in different subnet and we have not configured any uh, routing protocol or we have not configured any static uh, routing on this uh, on these routers so let's verify so this is 10.10.10.2 uh, .10 so just to use this ping 10.10.10.2 this PC so I'm going to ping from this PC and let's enter and you can see this says that destination host unreachable so now our target is that we will configure OSPF on this router OSPF on this router so that the computers on this subnet should be able to communicate on this uh, subnet so what we do we go to router and this command line interface and then we need to go to this global configuration mode with global configuration mode config t so we are in this global configuration mode and here we have to use router ospf and the process id so let's say we are giving process id one and then with the help of network command we have to use some ip address which should match with this so i am using this traditional method of uh, activating OSPF on different uh, interfaces so I'm using this network command network command and then the IP address which I want to match with these interfaces so that is I want to match first one this 172.16.0 and dot zero so this is the first and uh, then we use wildcard mask so maybe 0 0.255.255.255 because we want to only compare the first octet of this IP address and then area data done 
So we are done with this IP address. Now let's do for this. So maybe we use again the same network command. So network and then IP address 192.168.10.0 and then 254. Sorry. We want to compare the first octet, so this is 0, then dot 255, ignore second octet, then ignore third octet, and ignore fourth octet, and then area that is, I think we just selected before that area 0. So again, area 0, enter. So we configured OSPF on this router, and uh, now let's move to this router. Then procedure, we need to go to global configuration mode and here we say router OSPF PF and process ID again maybe one. We can have different process IDs here but we are using just one. Then, and then network command and the IP address which we want to compare so maybe this one. So 192 dot one six oh not that is one seventy two dot sixteen dot zero dot maybe zero and then zero dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five and area they should be in same area so we are working on single area so that's same area and then again network command for this interface so we say that is 10.10.10.0 and then 0.255.255.255 because we are using this uh, wildcard mask which will check only the first part of the IP address and finally area 0 and done. So we are done with the basic configuration of activating or uh, enabling OSPF on these interfaces of the router by using these uh, two simple commands. And we have not given any router ID, so by default, it will select the uh, uh, router ID, will be, uh, will be the uh, IP address, which has the highest uh, numeric value, okay? So yes, we have done that thing, and let's, let's confirm it. So actually, what we have done if we do this if I use some color here if I use some maybe color here okay so I mean these both of the routers have been configured in area 0 so we have just used area 1 area okay so only single area which we have configured then let's Say, let's see what's the position here. So let's see that protocol show IP protocol. With that, we want to verify is if there is uh, any routing protocol. So as a result of this command, you can see that this, oh sorry, this as a result of this show IP protocol command, it shows that routing protocol has been enabled, that is OSPF. Uh, yeah, so you can see this is the this is the process ID, and this is the gateway, and this is this. So we are here. So on on this router, let's see on the position here. So we can use again this show uh, show IP routing. Sorry. Show IP protocol. So you can see again here at this web, we have this routing protocol is OSPF. And if you want to see the neighbors, then we can see show IP OSPF neighbors. So on this router, on this router, we can see the neighbors. So 192.168.10.10.1 is the neighbor, and this is in full state, and this is the uh, designated router and this is the interface from which we can go so with this basic configuration so I hope they should be able to uh, communicate with each other so yes 
let's verify so what we do we we just go from this pc to this pc so, so that should be a thing and 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 yes we got reply so you can see receive three some it took some time to resolve some ip and mac addresses so anyway we just got so it is it should work now so you can see zero percent loss and we receive all the four uh, packets back so yes it worked so this was simple configuration just ospf just we what we needed to do just router OSTF and the a and the process id and the network command that is the command which is going to perform magic for us which is going to select the interfaces where we where we need to uh, configure this OSTF routing protocol so yes uh, just uh, yeah the simple uh, simple configuration to make everything simple mm, and thank you